Alright, so this is sort of a continuation of the last video of the ambient occlusion pass. And this is sort of the result we got from that ambient occlusion pass. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention was how to actually incorporate wireframe into your ambient occlusion. So I'll go ahead and show you that really quickly. But primarily, I'm going to show you how to do an alternative method of doing a turntable. So instead of using sort of like a, a, a NURBS circle, we'll actually go ahead and turn the object itself 360 degrees without you having to um, do anything um, more than that. So this is sort of a sample, you know, little scene that I set up, just a helix and then a, a polygon plane. So nothing really too um, complicated right there. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do the wireframes. So to turn on wireframes you're going to go ahead and go into your hypershade and then you're going to select the surface shade node and then you're going to select the input output connections and then go to set one and then go to the set one tab and then under mental ray you're going to get the contours obviously enable contour rendering the width of the lines, you can probably go down to maybe 0.5 or 0.4. Um, now, depending on the object, I have a helix, as you can see, and this could have a lot of lines, so this could look kind of ugly. But I'll just show you anyway for the sake of expediency on how to turn the lines on so to render out with wireframes. So once you have those settings all selected, make sure these are black. Both colors, black of the lines. Go into your render settings, indirect lighting, and then you're going to go to not indirect lighting, but rather features, and go to contours. Uh, enable contour rendering, uh, sample three, and then basically around silhouette and all around polyfaces. And then if you want, you can select a color planar face, but we'll just leave that off for now. And then we'll go ahead and just do um, maybe a, uh, a quick render. Um, maybe just to give you a better um, image quality, we'll set this up to 720. However, this will beef up the render time for it. So um, I'll go ahead and pause the video and um, I'll um, start it again once it's done rendering. Okay, so with a render time of 3 minutes and 55 seconds, this is exactly the result that we are looking for. So we actually now have the contour uh, wireframe on the object itself. So this is basically what it's going to look like when you render out um, whatever it is you're trying to render out on your object with an ambient occlusion pass.